Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can export data from Power Automate into an Excel document quickly and easily without the use of any apply to each loops. I will first of all show you what it does and then I'll show you how to do it. So I have got this SharePoint list here called invoices and it has got five columns. I'm only going to export the first four um, and we'll put those into an Excel template. I'll show you the Excel template quickly. Here is my table um, with my four columns in it. And a couple of those columns have got some formatting on them um, because they are number columns. And I've got a couple of um, formulas, just a subtotal and a count. And so we are going to populate this um, template and then email it to ourselves as well as generate a file. So let's just run it and have a look first. So if we go to here and I'll run the flow. So as I said, this SharePoint list has got 2000 items in it. And as you can see, it's actually already finished with the file. So let's go and have a look at the file here. There we go. There's the file complete. If we go right to the end, there's our total and our count of records. So that's 2000 records out in absolutely no time at all. Let's just check my email. And of course, it is the same file. So let's have a look at how it is done. So, before we can do anything with creating the file, I'm not gonna actually build the flow, I'll just show you how it works because it's very, very simple. So I've just got a simple get items action and I am doing an order by and a top count of 5,000. Haven't got pagination turned on. And then we go into a select action. Now a select action normally has a key value pair. If I just create a new one, you see that it's normally in this key value style. But the action that we're going to use to populate the um, Excel document does not expect a key, it just expects an array of values. So all I've got down here is two square, an opening square bracket and a closing square bracket to indicate that it's an array, and then the four columns from my SharePoint list that I want to add in. If I wanted to put another one in, I could just put a comma and then pick from here another field. But what you must make sure of is that the number of columns that you want to insert exactly matches the number of columns in your Excel table. So this select is going to produce us an array of arrays. Let's just have a look at the run history. If we look here, we can see we've got an outer array and then a subarray for each row of data. Okay, so that will make sense. So this is quite an interesting action. This is just a compose action that I renamed to Excel doc. And in here is a base 64 representation of my Excel document. Now I could make this in Power Automate. It's easier to do it outside of there. If I go to base 64, guru, base64.guru, I can just find my template file, which is here, invoice export, drop it on, and click on encode to base64, and then you just click on copy, go to your flow, and paste it into here. So that is the base64 representation of my Excel file, of my template. So then I'm gonna go into create file action and I'm just made sure that it's got a unique name by doing a format date time expression. You could use GUID or anything that suited your particular scenario. And then we get down to this action, which is the interesting one. Send a HTTP request. Now you've probably seen send a HTTP request before, but maybe not with this icon. So if I add a new action, 
you will see that if I search in this Office 365 groups, there is a new action, send a HTTP request preview. And if I use this, I can use a graph API action to populate my Excel document. So let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. So here is the URL that we're going to submit to. And this substring expression here, the substring ex expression pulls out the ID of the file from create file. So we're telling graph which Excel um, document we're after. And the other part is this invoice export. This is the name of the table in the Excel spreadsheet. So you need to replace that. Now, all of, the, all of this code you can copy easily from my blog. I've written an article which I'll link to in the description. And incidentally, while I'm here, I meant to mention this, I, this um, base64 method of creating a file. Um, my friend Damien Bird thought that up and he's done a video on that, so I'll link to that in the description as well. And he's also done a video on populating Excel documents um, with Office scripts, which is worth a watch. Anyway, so we get back to here, and this is the graph action that we are going to execute based on our file from create file and our table invoice export. And then in the post, it's simply just this JSON object called values and the body from the output of the select. Now, you will see here that I've put a five second delay in. That is because sometimes this file doesn't seem to have finished being written completely before we go for the get file content. So it just needs a small delay just to make sure that it's all written out fine. So then we go into get file content and that is the output of the create file. So the file ID is the output from the create file. I'll just put that in again. And then we just go into a send email action. I've given hard coded the um, file name here, it doesn't really matter. And then the file content is the output of get file content. And that is it. I mean, from here to here is all the work. And you could replace this get items with anything you like, really. The, anything that will get the data into a select. Um, so I hope that is really useful. I haven't really got much more to say on it because it's really a simple flow. Um, the magic is in this send a HTTP request. Now, there is one more important point. This send a HTTP request does not exist in all tenants. I just happen to have it on mine. Now, what I have observed is if you don't have it, you can put it in by copying and pasting it from a tenant that does have it. So if you go to my blog, And then in this section here, it says, at the time of writing this post, this is a preview action. And then it's got this code here. If you copy this and go back to your flow, and add a new action, go to my clipboard, and here it is, send a HTTP request. That will put it in for you if you can't find it in your own search. Um, so that's the trick, really. Um, and that's all there is to it. So see how you get on, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers, bye-bye.